Module 5. Transcription Software Tutorial. Why do you need a transcription software? There are two things you need to transcribe, a word processor and an audio or video player. For the word processor, we're going to use Microsoft Word. And for the player, we're going to use VLC. This is what we do without a transcription software. Well, I, you know, maybe what would be um, most helpful is I can talk a little bit about the background. Of why um, we are pursuing. doing uh, immune-based therapy and what what did you notice we need to switch from one application to another we switch back and forth between MS Word and VLC using a mouse this makes our work time consuming and tedious now let's see the difference if we use a transcription software well, I, you know maybe what would be um, most helpful is I can um, most helpful is I can talk a little bit about the is I can talk a little bit about the background of why um, a little bit about the background of why um, we are pursuing uh, immune-based therapy and A transcription software makes it easier and faster to transcribe because we don't have to switch from one application to the other. The most popular transcription software that transcribers use is called ExpressScribe. It's an application you can download for free. Follow these steps to set up ExpressScribe. Go to Google and search ExpressScribe. Download and install the software on your computer. Go to Options and then Playback. Set the volume auto adjust to weak. Set clarity low frequency cutoff method to low bass or sharp, whichever you prefer. Set auto backstep on stop to 2000. Set rewind to 3000 and set forward to 3000. Drag and drop your audio file into the dictation panel to transcribe an audio. Highlight the file in the dictation panel then press F9 to play. You will see at the bottom left of ExpressScribe that the audio is playing. To pause or stop the audio, press F4. The other playback controls to use are F7 for rewind and F8 for fast forward. You can adjust the speed of the audio by using the slider. You can either make it slower or faster. Then press F10 to play the audio in the normal speed. Adjust the volume by using the slider on the lower right corner of the player. To see the list of hotkeys, go to Options, then click the Hotkeys tab. You have the option to add a hotkey. Change a hotkey, delete a hotkey, or set to hotkeys to default. When everything is set up, you can minimize Express Scribe. Just use the function keys or hotkeys to play and pause the audio while you're typing. <laughs> 